Okay, friends, what in the actual F is going on in Book of Boba Fett? Alrighty, friends, it's your man Z here, and we have to talk because I want to talk about Boba Fett, and there will be spoilers, so please... If you haven't watched it, I mean, maybe you want to watch it. I I don't know. I want to like this show. I really, really do. But I am confusion. There is much confusion. And episode three, directed by Robert Rodriguez, really has me confused. And I know he's the showrunner. And I'm like, that dude's a good director, isn't he? Like, I know he directed uh, Sin City and he directed uh, Desperado. Like, once Upon a Time in Mexico, I like that. And then, I get it, he directs kid movies like Spy Game and stuff like that. But after this third episode, I'm just like, what is going on here? So, I'm not going to break down the entire show. I'm just going to talk about things that are freaking me out, that I'm kind of like annoyed or I, I, it's leave me speechless. But let's talk. Because this third episode really sums it all up for me. First of all, Tamara Morrison's fine actor. But Old Man Boba, why do you keep showing me Old Man Boba? Right? And what I don't understand too is, why does he take his helmet off all the time? I never saw Boba Fett maskless in anything before this, yet all the time. I mean, okay, prequels don't count. But in all seriousness... Why every time he's in a dangerous situation, boop, out comes the mask. Bro, you keep the mask on because someone's going to shoot you in the face. Okay? So please, just keep your mask on. The dude from The Mandalorian did it the entire season, and you can't keep it on for more than five minutes? Like, what is going on? Okay, let's move along. And <laughs> I, just, I, I don't like watching an old man fight. Like, bro... Here's my other problem with it. And, okay, I could be wrong. Maybe he has killed some people in the show. But he hasn't killed anybody. There's been numerous times where he should just shoot people in the face. This is the man that Darth Vader said... Darth Vader said to this man, no more disintegrations. And he hasn't disintegrated a single person. Not even one. I just want one disintegration. No, none. He's good Boba now, where he's nice and friendly for your friendly neighborhood Boba. Really? Bro, you gotta be... He wants to be... The whole premise of the show is he wants to be a crime lord. You don't get to be a crime lord and be nice and friendly. You're not a friendly, like, hey, man, let's be... but. He wants to rule with respect. You don't get respect unless you kill people. You gotta kill them. You can't just be like, yeah. I can let this guy disrespect me and he'll get away with it. I also feel like there was a little um, bait and switch, right? There's a scene, I think it's in the second episode, where he's trying to intimidate this incredible assassin guild guy and he drops him into the rancor pit. Or at least Ming-Na Wen does. And she's like, Oh, I'm going to release the rancor. And then she goes to release the rancor. And he's like, oh my God, the mayor did it. The mayor did it. So he cracks. And then she's like, ha ha ha, no rancor for you. We don't really have a rancor. Okay. So, uh, and I'm going to go through this article. This guy loves episode three. So there's just a couple of things in episode three that really stood out to me that are just ludicrous and what you bring in a a great great actor Stephen Root from you may know him from such things as King of the Hill the voice of uh, that guy or um, Office Space or even better uh, News Radio Jimmy John or whatever his name was in, in, in that and and you get him to just spout random nonsense in some weird accent that makes the he's a great actor use him i mean i i don't i don't understand robert rodriguez what are you doing okay so you got that part uh what's the back to tank why is he in the back to tank all all the time 
I, I, I do like there's things I do like. Don't get me wrong. I like Chrysanthan, the big Wookie, angry Wookie bro. He's cool. Even these guys, me, <laughs> there's a fight where the Wookie comes in. And I fairly remember Han Solo saying something like, don't talk back to Chewbacca. He'll rip your arms and legs off. Does this dude rip anybody's arms? He doesn't kill anybody. No, not one person. There's a bunch of teenagers and he doesn't even rip their robotic implants out. There's Gamorrean guards. He just pushes them to the ground and bites one. And Boba Fett, Boba Fett. He pulls him out he's fighting. Well, I don't need to see Eastern Promises again. I had enough of a naked man fighting other... Why is he naked in the back to tank? He's wearing an adult diaper. He pulls him out and Boba, Boba, mother effing Boba Fett is wearing an adult diaper. And he's getting beat up by a giant Wookiee. And the Wookiee should be ripping his face off. And the Wookiee's like, like, uh, okay. And then when they go to get, <laughs> he's in his, <laughs> he's all slippery, right? <laughs> and he comes out and he's wearing this, this robe. And in the robe, he's just like all dressed up in this robe. Uh, like, put your suit on, bro. Isn't your suit made out of Beskar armor? Isn't that a thing? What's going on there? Why do we have a slippery old man Boba not wearing his Boba Fett suit? Okay, continue. Part five or four of my rant here. And I haven't even gotten to the best part yet. I have not gotten there. I haven't gotten to what's trending. The job of the huts. There's the twin huts, right? Uh, I mean, the, uh. so back in Return of the Jedi, they had the job of the hut animatronic character, and that was run by like 15 dudes parked inside of a suit, and like all these guys, like it took 15 people to operate it. An amazing feat, beautiful, incredible. I love it. You go and look at the, the, the CGI on these guys is terrible. It looks like the prequel job of the Hut guys, the, the Hutties or whatever they are, these characters are. You gotta be kidding me. What is with this, this, this terrible CGI? This is like the second or third time there's been terrible CGI. There's the Gamorrean guards look up. You have a shot where you clearly have practical makeup effects. And then you switch to these terrible prequel looking job of the huts. The CGI is oh, it's, it's It's just aggravating because look, I know some people like the prequels, but I cannot stand them. And here you have them doing something like it's just ridiculous. Moving on. I will not talk about them right now. Look, it's a slippery when wet uh, Boba Fett. Insane not to be done and then there's a whole scene of him bringing in this ranker right and it's a baby ranker okay what are you trying to sell more baby yoda dolls baby ranker i mean i didn't hate the scene but he's just like oh look at the cuddly little i want to pet him and danny trejo's there and i'm like for a second i thought danny trejo was like gonna betray him and have the ranker attack him and then Danny Trejo would get, you know, Boba Fett would blast him and then he'd have to subdue the rancor himself and force it to his will and make it like his pet. No, it's just like, oh, look how cuddly and cute the rancor is. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Okay. So let's get to the the, the big problem in the room. And I, I, I wish I could blow this up for you folks. But if you watch it, you can't miss it. In fact, you can see it here. First of all, why is Boba Fett hiring a bunch of unruly teens who have not proven themselves to do anything other than steal water? Useless. Just, like... <laughs> and then they all... They, they don't have jobs. They don't have money. All they do is steal water. But they can have these, like, pimped out Vespas? You're driving around on Vespas. And not only are they terrible... Is this a GTA Easter egg that everybody's missing? Because I'm going to show you something. I want you to see it. You can't unsee it. I promise you. You see this one, the blue one, and even the green one. Look at all those like mirrors on there, right? It's a bunch of mirrors. Does this remind you of anything in GTA 5? Yes, it does. It reminds you of the Faggio, the Vespa. 
Yeah, that's right. They literally stole the modded out Vespa for you so that you could travel in style while you're on most Vespa and on Tatooine. That's right, folks. It's a literal, it's a meme. Like, okay, I just don't get it. It's supposed to be a joke. And then there's this this ridiculous high speed chase, but they're literally Vespas. They're just like putzing around. Like this is the, this slow speed chase. They drive through a picture of Jabba the Hutt and land in some fruit. Like this is supposed to be freaking Back to the Future or something. It just wasn't done well. Like it, maybe it could have been done. I don't. I don't understand what they're going for. I'm so confused. Ugh, it's just. It's driving me a little crazy. I think that's it. Oh. Oh. But here's. Here was the point of my initial. Uh, obviously the GTA Five thing, right? Okay. We got it. We get it. Okay. So we see these. So guess what? The internet glommed onto this. And what does the internet do? The internet has some fun. And now they're saying that these guys are the Power Ranger kids. And they basically summon the Power Rangers. And it's ridiculous. Look, it's a, it's some fruit. And I know there was a ton of Easter eggs and fan stuff. There was more lore, not like craziness in here than I understood. There's something about monks inside with their brains inside spider jar things. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. Like, look. I read quite a bit of stuff, but I'm not completely up to date on my Star Wars lore. And I get it. They seem to be going deep. They clearly have some fans in here that are doing stuff. I get that. But this is goofy. So I'm just going to go to Google. I should go to DuckDuckGo, but I'll go to Google. And we're going to search uh, Boba Fett Power Rangers. Because I'm pretty sure this was trending on... Uh, whatever that site is that oh it's Boba with one B whoops everybody's talking about it Boba Fett featuring the Power Rangers Boba Fett brought the Power Rangers into Star Wars uh, Boba Fett gets Power Rangers like CBR comic book reviews Boba Fett's Power Ranger bike spawn hilarious memes oh boy yeah meet the guest cast of Boba Fett Boba Fett episode 3 it was just, yes, they're referencing 60 mod culture, not Power Rangers. Yeah, I get that, I, but I don't get that because they literally made fun of it in GTA 5. Like, what is going on here? I, I, I don't know, man. And why the colors match so closely to the Power Rangers when these kids don't have jobs? They don't have gerbs! They ain't got no gerbs. How are they affording this stuff? How are they modding themselves? If they were at least stealing something of value and selling it, they're like, we stole water, mate. You stole water. Are you reselling it? What are you doing? No, you're just drinking it. What are you doing? What is going on here? Have I lost my mind? Please tell me in the comments below, have I lost my gourd on this one? Or am I right? Have you seen it? Do you like what you see? I want to like it. I promise you, I do. I'm going in with open ar open arms, open eyes, whatever. I keep watching it. I keep. I haven't commented on it yet. I, I do it in the, our full-length audio podcast that you can get for free on Stitcher, Spotify, and iTunes. I talk about it there, and I'm usually fairly positive about it, but this time I am starting to lose my mind. Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for listening to my incredulous rant here as it is... Just something I had to get off my chest. Thank you. Appreciate it. And I am on to the next one.